my gosh, look at this room. It's huge, and it's like 10 times bigger than my old one. But hey, it could do with like an extreme makeover, home edition style. Who's texting me? Let me just open up my phone to check it out. I swear, I'd be lost without unlimited texting. Hey! You're new here, aren't you? Yeah. First day. I love your first day outfit. It's really cute. Thanks. I kind of like it too. Well, you should. My name's Emily, and these are my friends Olivia and Abigail. Hi. Hey. Emily's right. Your outfit is really cute. Did you just move to Charm Springs? Yeah. We moved from out of state. My parents heard lots of good things about Charm Springs High. All lies. All of them. What? I'm kidding. It's not that bad here. I was the new kid last year, and it didn't scare me off. You'll be just fine. Good. I think I will too. You couldn't have found a better welcoming committee. We'll show you who's in, who's out, and who to just plain avoid. Will any cute boys be on that tour? <laughs> of course. The school is crawling with them. Let's start over there. That's Chuck Majors. Basketball star and possibly one of the hottest guys in the school. And then there's Petey Jacobs. You know how they say all girls love the DJ in the club? It's no different here. And then there's Seth Stoddard. If you like your guy to wear tight shirts and get all dramatic, Seth's your guy. Although there is something cute about him, in a depressing sort of way. There's a pretty good selection of guys to choose from, but you gotta watch out for Abigail, cause she's after them too. You got competition, girl. Oh, and if for some reason you're walking along the hallways and something explodes or crashes through a wall, that's Benny B. What? Crashes through a wall? Long story. You shouldn't have anything to worry about as long as you stay a safe distance away from him. Like about a mile. Dang, that's the bell to go to class. Come on, I'll show you where it is. Thanks. It's cool, like I said. I was the new girl once too. I think you're really going to like Charm Springs High. Me too. There's a couple of cute guys in here, so hopefully you can find a seat next to them. Thanks. I think I see one right now. Good luck. See you after class. Killer threads. No one ever sits in that seat. Okay, class. Today, well, for this lesson, I'm Is it okay for me to sit here? Scene. It's okay, just no one ever does. Why? Is the seat haunted? No. The most students here time. find me haunting. Probably because you've got such an unusual style. Or that they think I'm scary. Scary is a style. And who are they to say whether it's good or not? You seem different than most of the girls here. That's because I'm one of a kind. That makes two of us. Why be normal, right? The poets themselves could not have said it better. You're funny. Funny looking? Funny, period. Excuse me, is my teaching interrupting your conversation? Now that we have the entire class's attention, would you all please turn to chapter one in your textbooks?
And you, little Miss Distraction, I want to see you after class. Miss Trimble, I'd love to stay and talk with you about crossword puzzles and knitting, but I don't want to be late. You'll be okay. I've written a note to excuse you. Cool. Can you write me another one so I can go to fifth period lunch, too? I'll dismiss that as a poor attempt at humor. If you'd really like to discuss crossword puzzles, we can do that at another time. Then what do you want to talk about? You need to know how students are expected to behave here at Charm Springs High. I said I was sorry, Miss Trimble. You must come from a place where saying you're sorry makes angels appear and play beautiful songs on their harp and make flowers go into full bloom. No, but it's usually accepted. You only think that because of what kind of girl you are. What kind of girl am I? Oh, you know. You're pretty. You dress like you're older than you are, and whatever you say is immediately dismissed. Well, not here, young lady. I can assure you that. Wow, thank you. That means a lot to me. Really? So, I actually got through to you? This is a first. Uh, no. You said I was pretty, and it almost brought a tear to my eye. Thank you so much. Oh, there is plenty of time for tears. Believe me. Are you finished trying to act tough, or can I go now? You can go. And since you like talking so much, stop by in room 104 and tell Eugene I'm still waiting for those pictures for the paper. You're not in trouble, are you? It's my first day, and Miss Trimble is already on my back. What did she say? Something about she can pretty much see everything I do. Pretty stalkerish, huh? I know I was talking in class, but I wasn't the only one. Why'd she single me out? Couldn't tell ya. Let's go shopping and forget all about it. Whoa, who is that? Girl, that is Landon. Why are those kids following him like that? That's his entourage. Entourage? Yeah, they just follow him and do what he says. But why? Have you ever seen a group of stray dogs when you hold out a piece of meat? Yeah, they go crazy. Well, those are the stray dogs, and the meat that Landon is holding out is a combination of his unlimited wealth and popularity. They all want a bite of it. That's really too bad. It is, but... Don't think about it too much. Let's just go shopping. I didn't think we'd get around to that today. I'll always make time for something as important as shopping. Just meet me in the courtyard when you're done checking out the school. Oh my gosh. Do. Not. Move. Can. I. Breathe? I'd rather you didn't, but if you do, make it quick. Let me just line you up. There. Feel free to breathe now. Oh, thanks. Breathing helps. So, can't you get in trouble by running around taking pictures of people? It's not like I was in the girls' bathroom. Besides, I had to take the picture. You reminded me of the actresses of the 40s and 50s. Oh, how sweet. You think I look like I'm 90 years old? Wait, I'm photogenic? Yes. No. Uh, okay, uh, wait. Uh, yes, you're photogenic. No, you don't look 90. You look like they did back then. You know, Greta Garbo, Rita Hayworth. Sorry, before my time. Maybe you'd like to reminisce with my grandma sometime. It doesn't matter. They were... Well, many people thought they were beautiful. I see. 
Well, thanks for the compliment. I'll have to check them out on the internet sometime. You never told me your name. Or should I just call you Mr. Paparazzi? No, Eugene is fine. Well, it was nice to meet you, Eugene. And Miss Trimble sends you her regards. What? Oh man, not those pictures again. That lady just doesn't give up. I'm already up to my eyebrows in work. I better take them to her now. Time to get our shop on. Sorry, I got caught up in something. It's okay. Let's get going. Would you like your nails done? I'll have a makeover, please. Certainly. If you could come over here, please. Coming. I hope you like your new look. If you need us to figure out your shoe size, please let us know. They don't go with your outfit. Shoes are so cute, right? Please, come again. Need to get some stains out. I'm here to pick up an item. Of course, dear. Here you go. Thanks. Lovely to see you, dear. Please come again. Thanks. See you later.
Welcome to Afonso's Leather. How can I help you? a good look on you. Please come again. Here, catch. What's this? Uh, a magnet? You know, one of those things you use to hang your report card on the fridge? Opposites attract. Okay, I get it. Thanks. But what do I need one of these for? Because we collect them, silly. That's one that Abigail gave me, and since I'm allergic to ugly things, there's no way I can keep it. You might like it, though. Thanks, I guess. I'm actually kind of tired right now. I'd love to go shopping, but you'd have to carry me. And I'd like to carry you, but you just slow me down. We'll catch up later. Cool. See ya. Need to get some stains out. I'm here for the job. Oh, lovely. It's a basic rate for all items, and I'll give you a bonus if you do it quickly. Yep. Everyone yeah! 
should always air their dirty laundry, but not you, dear. You don't have any, do you? I love dirty laundry. To see yeah. all the clothes come out nice yeah. and clean yeah. and fresh. Yeah. Thank you for the help, dear. Here's your wages. Please come and help me again, dear. Time to head home. I can use the map to get there. Hello, dear. What can I do for you today? <laughs> <laughs>